Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of rounding decimals. This is standard 5.2c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 28 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So very short problem, what is 2.938 or 2 and 938 thousandths rounded to the nearest hundredth? Well, we need to know what the hundredth place is first. So let's make sure we've got our place value down here. So I see one digit to the left of the decimal and I see three digits to the right of the decimal. So this is our ones place right here. And we've got a two in the ones place. The ones place is always the first digit to the left of the decimal. And if it, there's no decimal in any number, it's always the, the farthest digit to the right because the decimal goes beyond to the right of the ones place. Now we've got the tenths place here. So it's got the, it's like the tens, but it's got the THS, tenths. That's where the nine is sitting. So here's the hundredths place. Hundredths place is two places over. It's got a three sitting right there, which means that eight is sitting in the thousandths. And so those first three digits beyond the decimal, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, they kind of mirror what's going on on the left side. If we extend this way, we get tens, hundreds, thousands. Uh, but these are tens, hundreds, thousands, and you notice how these are tenths, hundredths, thousandths, that THS. It's very important. And there's no such thing as a once place. We just ignore the once. So I need to round this to the nearest hundredths. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that means if, we're, if we take a look at a number line. So we're going to draw a number line here. And so I'm going to look, since I'm looking at the hundredths place, I'm going to use this 2.93 as my first boundary number since that's what we're looking at, 2.93. Uh, and then I'm going to just take the next one up, 2.94 or 2 and 94 hundredths. Okay, those are my boundaries. So this 2 and 938 thousandths falls in between there. Now you notice how this goes to three digits beyond the decimal. So I'm going to go ahead and just make that three digits. So I, you can add as many zeros as you want to after a decimal. It doesn't change anything. It just makes it harder to say. So 2 and 93 hundredths is the same as 2 and 930 thousandths. So where does this fall? Well, let's cut that in half. Because if it's from the halfway point and up, it goes up to 2 and 94 hundredths. If it's below the halfway point, we're going to go down here. Well, take a look. This is why I added the thousandths, because look at what's in between 930 and 940. Yeah, you're probably thinking 935. So, if we've got 2 and 935 thousandths or above, we are going up. If we have anything less than 2 and 935 thousandths, I'm going to put an open circle there, which means we don't include it. We're going to go down. So, where does this 2 and 938 thousandths land? Well, that's going to land right around there. 2 and 938 thousandths. So it's closer to the 2 and 940. So it means this is going to move up. But remember, I added this extra zero. Well, you can always just drop a zero because there's, there's no really need for it. Which means this 2, 938 thousandths is going to round up to 200, 2 and 94 hundredths because it's closer to that than it is 2 and 93 hundredths. Now, if you want to try to learn how to do that without all of this drawing, right, you can always underline the place you're going to. You always look to the digit to the right. And remember, if it's 5 and up, this is going to make this change up 1. And it does. So it's going to be 2 and 94. And then this always goes away. It becomes a 0. So then all we got to do is bubble this in right on your answer document. You've got two digits to the right. You've got three digits to the left. So you're going to 2 and 94 and then bubble in underneath. 